graph of rational function. Given the function fx equal 5x over x minus 2, determine if any, the x intercept and y intercept, the vertical and horizontal asymptote, f prime x and f double prime x, extremum and inflection point, and finally sketch the graph. So we have fx equal 5x over x minus 2. A, we want to find the x-intercept and y-intercept. For x-intercept, we set y equal 0. And we get x also equal to 0. So x-intercept is at 0, 0. For y-intercept, we set x equal 0. So we get y equal 0. y intercept also at 0, 0. B. We want to find the vertical and horizontal asymptote. Let's start from vertical asymptote. From the denominator, we take x minus 2 equal 0. So we get x equal 2. Analysis of vertical asymptote set limit as x approach 2 from left and then limit as x approaches 2 from right as x approaches 2 from left let's choose some values let's say we choose 1, 0, negative 1. When x equal 1, We get negative 5. When x equal 0, we get 0. When x equal negative 1, we get 5 over 3. So as x approaches from the left, we can see that the answer are getting smaller. So negative infinity. Okay. Limit x approaches to from right. Let's choose a few value. From right, 3, 4, 5. Substitute 3. We get 15. Substitute 4. We get 10. Substitute 5. We get 25 over 3. So look at the pattern. When x approaches from the right, we can see that the answer are getting larger. So, positive infinity. Proceed to horizontal asymptote. For horizontal asymptote, set limit 
as x approach to infinity. Here we can apply shortcut method. So the answer is 5. Therefore, y equal 5. C, we want to find f prime x and f double prime x. f prime x. Because the function is in fraction form, we must use quotient rule. v u prime minus u v prime over v square. So from the denominator, we can get critical value x equal 2. Now let's find the second derivative. From the denominator, we get inflation value equal to D. Find the extremum and inflation point. From the critical value x equal to substitute 2 into the original function. Look at the denominator. If we substitute x as 2, 2 minus 2 equal 0. In any cases, denominator must not equal 0. Therefore, no solution. No extremum. For inflection point, take the inflection value. Substitute 2 into the original function. Look at the denominator, 2 minus 2 equals 0. Denominator must not equal 0. Therefore, no solution. So, we do not have inflection point. And finally, we want to sketch the graph. So from A, we have the x-intercept and y-intercept at 0, 0. And then we have vertical asymptote at x equal 2. Let's see, this is the line at x equal 2. Vertical asymptote. Horizontal asymptote, y equal 5.
and then x approach to from left negative infinity from left negative infinity from right positive infinity so coming from the right positive infinity let's sketch the graph so from left negative infinity okay going downward x approach to from right positive infinity positive infinity going upward so based on the information provided this is our graph graph of rational function Given the function fx equal x plus 2 over 1 minus x, we want to find the x-intercept, y-intercept, the vertical and horizontal asymptote, the interval where fx is increasing, the interval of concavity, and finally, we want to sketch the graph. So given fx equal x plus 2 over 1 minus x, A, we want to find the y-intercept and x-intercept. For y-intercept, we set x equal 0. So we get y equal Therefore, x intercept at y intercept at zero two, and then from for x intercept we set y equal zero. From here we get x equal negative two. So, x-intercept at negative 2, 0. Question B. We want to find the vertical and horizontal asymptote. For, for, for vertical asymptote, from the denominator of the given function, 1 minus x equal 0, and we get x equal 1. For the analysis of vertical asymptote, Set limit as x approaches 1 from left and then limit as x approaches 1 from right. When limit x approach 1 from left, we can choose a few values such as 0, negative 1 and negative 2. Substitute into the function. When substitute x 0, we get 2. Substitute x negative 1, we get mm. 
1 over 2 and substitute negative 2 we get Zero. So, as x approaches from the left, the answers are getting bigger. So, positive infinity. Then, let's do the analysis when limit x approach 1 from right. We choose 1, we choose 2, 3, and 4. Substitute 2. We get negative 4. Substitute 3. We get negative 5 over 2. Substitute 4. We get negative 2. As x approaches from the right, we can see that the answers are getting smaller. So negative infinity now let's do for horizontal asymptote for horizontal asymptote find limit as x approach to infinity for the function here we can apply shortcut method. Choose highest power of x from numerator divided by highest power of x from denominator. So negative 1. Therefore, horizontal asymptote y equal negative 1. C. We want to find the intervals where f x is increasing. For increasing interval, first we must differentiate the given function. We must use quotient rule. V u prime minus u v prime over v square equal From the denominator, we can get the critical value x equal to 1. And then create a table. First column for interval. Second column test value and third column for f prime x first interval negative infinity 1 
Second interval, 1 to positive infinity. Choose one test value. From the first interval, we can choose 0. From the second interval, we can choose 2. Substitute into f prime x. Substitute 0, we get positive answer. Substitute 2, we also get positive answer. So the increasing interval are negative infinity 1, union positive, union 1 to positive infinity. Next, we want to find the interval of concavity. For concavity, we have to find the second derivative. So from the denominator, we can get inflection value x equal to 1. Create a table. The first interval is negative infinity 1 and the second interval 1 to positive infinity. Choose one test value from each respective interval. From the first interval, we can choose 0. From the second interval, we can choose 2. Substitute the test value into the second derivative. When we substitute 0, we get a negative answer. When we substitute 2, we also... When we substitute 2... We can get a positive answer. So this is our conclusion for concavity. Finally, we want to sketch the graph. So from A, we know the y-intercept and x-intercept. Let's see. This is 0, 2. And this one is negative 2, 0. Vertical asymptote is at x equal 1. And 
then the horizontal asymptote is at y equal negative 1. From the analysis of vertical asymptote, when x approach 1 from left, positive infinity. Approach 1 from left, positive infinity. Approach 1 from right, negative infinity. So, it will come, it will go downwards. Sorry, I made some error while finding the second derivative. So, second derivative, we have to multiply by negative 1 because differentiate 1 minus x. Differentiate 1, 0. Differentiate negative x is negative 1. So, we get positive 6. So the sign for the first interval is positive and the second interval is negative. Concave downward, 1 to positive infinity. Concave upward, negative infinity, 1. So from the graph, we can see that both are increasing. Increase, increase. The first interval concave upward and the second interval concave downward. 